Hi, in this session, we will start to create a simple 3D viewer to display VTK objects using PySide 6GUI library. As we progress in our VTK series, we will update the viewer to include additional features in subsequent parts to visualize more complex data. PySide, also known as Qt for Python, it's a Python library for creating GUI applications using the Qt toolkit. First, we need to install it via pip package installer. After installation is complete, let's create our first application. Import the Pi side classes that we need for the application. Here, we're importing QApplication, the application handler and QLabel, a GUI widget, both from the Qt widgets module. Next, we create an instance of QApplication, passing in system args, which is Python list containing the command line arguments passed to the application. Next, we create an instance of a queue label using the variable name label. In Qt, all top level widgets are windows, so we can create a window using any widget and show the widget using show function. Finally, we call exec function of app class to start up the event loop. Application will exit when window is closed. In Pi side, widget is the name given to a component of the UI that the user can interact with. User interfaces are made up of multiple widgets arranged within the window. Pi side comes with a large selection of widgets available and even allows you to create your own custom and customized widgets. To check the full list of available widgets, including all their signals and attributes, take a look at the Qt documentation. QVTK Render Window Interactor is a simple VTK widget for Pi side. It uses a VTK generic render window interactor class to handle the interactions. It provides a link between VTK's rendering capabilities and PySide's GUI framework for visualizing 3D objects in PySide window. We have to import this class from VTK modules and initialize the widget. Internally, it manages a VTK render window, which is embedded within the Qt widget and provides the canvas for VTK's visualizations. It ensures synchronization between Qt's event loop and VTK's rendering loop. It intercepts Qt's native events, such as mouse clicks and key presses, through Qt's event handling mechanism and translates these Qt events into VTK-specific events and forwards them to the embedded VTK interactor. This widget provides a convenient way to integrate VTK's powerful rendering capabilities into Qt-based applications enabling the creation of interactive and visually rich 3D graphics. Now, we will start to implement our VTK viewer. As we saw earlier, we will import the necessary modules like VTK and widgets from PySide 6. Then we define a class named VTK viewer, which is a subclass of QWidget. In the constructor function called init, we define a variable named parent to set the parent for the widget. At this point when we run this script, we get an empty window. Now, in the init method, we define the QVTK render window interactor variable to hold the QVTK render window interactor class object instance. We also define variables to hold the renderer and interactor objects. Then, we define setup window function, where we will initialize our VTK widget. Now, in the setup renderer function, we create the renderer object from VTK renderer class and set the interactor object to QVTK render window interactor object. Then, we add the renderer object to the interactor object using add renderer method. We also turn on point and line smoothing for better visualization. Then, we initialize and start the interactor. At this point we get a blank widget in the window. We also need to add code to resize the widget to the window size. Now, let's add code to resize the widget. 
For this, we define the base size of the window. Then, we override the paint event method of our widget class and set the size of the renderer using setSize method of the renderer object. We also set a blue background color for the renderer. Let's run the script and see the viewer. Now, we will discuss about Orientation Marker Widget. It is used to position VTK Annotated Cube Actor, which is a 3D unit cube centered on the origin, and has each face with user-defined text label, for each corresponding Cartesian directions, and VTK Axis Actor, which is an actor used to represent 3D axes in a scene. It is rendered as an overlay on the parent renderer, and thus appears superposed over all props in the parent scene. The camera view of the orientation marker is matched with that of the renderer to reflect the orientation of the 3D scene. If the widget is in interactive mode, it listens to left mouse button and mouse movement events. If the left mouse button is pressed and held down while moving the overlay renderer, the orientation marker is resized or moved. Now, to define the widget, we use VTK Orientation Marker Widget class and set the orientation marker to either VTK Annotated Cube Actor or VTK Axis Actor. Now, in our viewer class, we need to add a trihedron, for this, we define variables for the trihedron and its position. Then, we define setup trihedron function. Inside, we use our make axis actor function to create the axis actor which is an object of VTK Axis Actor. Then, we initialize the orientation marker widget, and set the trihedron as the marker for the widget. We also set the interactor for the widget and then enable the widget. We have to ensure that the position of the widget is fixed as per our positional logic, so we have to disable the event mechanism of the widget using the interactive off function of the widget. Then, we define a function to resize the trihedron whenever the size of the window changes. Inside the function we set the viewport of the widget and set its location as per our defined position. Then, we override the resize event method of the window, and call the resize trihedron function to position the orientation marker widget in response to the changes in the window size. At this point, we have set up our minimal VTK viewer with an orientation marker with a trihedron. Let's run the complete code to see the viewer window. In the viewer, we notice that, when we click inside the viewer, the orientation marker spins continuously depending on the position of the mouse click point. This is the default behavior of the renderer, where the interactor style is set to joy stick mode, which generates a stream of events that cause continuous actions for rotation, pan and zoom. Now, we have to change this interactor style to trackball, which implements a grab and move style of action. To do this, we use VTK Interactor Style Trackball Camera class and set it in the interactor. In Trackball Style, motion occurs when the mouse button is pressed and the mouse pointer moves. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated for our latest videos. Thank you.